I was there when he bought his first spandex outfit and I was videotaping him when he first tried to dance in spandex in public. Um, so I've seen it all the way through and the ups and downs of it. And I think for me, it just shows that it's just really what Andy's meant to do. Spandy Andy. Spandy Andy. <laughs> Good. All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Good. Spandy Andy is my performing name, and it's uh, a dance character I like to do, and he promotes positivity and acceptance through dance. As a kid, I was very energetic. I always liked to be in front of the camera. I always liked attention on me, and so that's similar to Spandy Andy right now, how I'm always trying to dance and just have fun and smile. <laughs> there, and... <laughs> and what else? <clears throat> and that's all. Great. Andy was a handful as a little brother. Um, I mean, my, my parents sort of waited the 10 years, I think, so that they'd have like a built-in babysitter. So I was always with him, always taking care of him. And he was everything I was, and I was a quiet child, well-behaved. He could never sit still. He was always running around all over the place, yelling, screaming, dancing, doing whatever he wanted to do. Um, so he was definitely a handful. What was your first word? Quash? Yeah, which was Josh. That was baby for Josh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now looking back through all the home videos, it's cool to see. It reminds me of a lot of the different things he filmed. And, like, I, it was always, I want to see Andy on TV. Sometimes the neighbors would come around and to play and stuff, and they'd be like, film me too, Josh. And I'd be like, yeah, I am. <laughs> I just, he was my little star. Yeah. In school, I got picked on for my religion as well as other things being that I was always the shortest, so I always stood out anyway, and then I kind of used that. And, uh, bullies look for something that stands out, and then they can make fun of it. So I used it to my advantage and was, like, overboard, and they didn't know what to do with it. So they'd be like, you're short, and I'd be like, yeah, smallest guy in town. I started looking into uh, renting a studio here and realized it wasn't that bad of a price and if I could get three or four people together then it would only be ten dollars each or so and we could practice so that's how it came about. Ich, ni, san, shi. Keep going. Good job. Now throw the arms in. Woo! Now freestyle. <laughs> If you see someone having a drink at the bar and the music's going, you're like, hey, what's up? Cheers. Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I've danced with him since last, year, uh, last Christmas. The one year now, so fun. <laughs> he's so talented and then he's awesome, so I, I like to dance with him. <laughs> Not only are females like my bigger fans, but I think gay people actually too, because they just want to express themselves and be themselves, but we still live in a world that they can't and they get hurt for it. So another thing Spandy shows is like, just be yourself. Look at I'm gonna go run around doing this. And so they see that too. And I think that's what they really like. He's never had that what, what most of us have where we're trying to hold back and not, you know, try to be civilized or whatever it is. Andy just does what he wants to do and has fun with it. So he's, he's sort of always been like that and now he just added some spandex <laughs> and some 90s dance music and, and away he goes.
dance music from the 90s, the message in it is like be positive a lot of the time. It's like, love your life, do do do, just dance, you know, whatever it is. Just so I love that. And you can just like give it your all and everybody loves it and people join in and feel that. And then hip hop is like when I like doing my illusionary style of dance, like, you know, it's just like sweet. I don't know. Yeah. G Funk Yo, West Side, Vancouver. Holla. You just gotta play and do the unexpected. And then, you know, you get people smiling, and that's great.